hair look. <laughs> you look fine. Thanks. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. So today it is the same as any other day, kind of. Grace is making some breakfast. We got some bacon over here. And then we have water boiling because we're going to make some sweet tea for me because that is definitely not normal here. Um, sweet tea is a big thing at home for me, so we're going to make it. And then we're also going to make some eggs. But when we're done, we're going to watch some How I Met Your Mother. And then we are going to go to uh, a supermarket style store so I could show you that because it's... Oh. It's yes, Coles. We it's talked about it. We talked about it in another video. We're gonna go there and show you. I'll show you what it looks like because it's way different. If you're from America, it's like way different. But that's what we're doing. Bye. Bye. So this is the first thing that's different. Um, everything. Like the stores above us, we're in like a parking garage. And then they have like, where I'm from in Orlando, they have a Target that's kind of like this, but this is like all of their, every single supermarket is basically like this. The stores above it, so that's pretty cool. Good use of space, I would say. Okay, so this is like a moving walkway, but it's a ramp. And I didn't get it until I realized that they're buggies or trolleys as they call them. They fit into the grooves on the thing. So that's different. So these are the soy crisps we had the other day. You just like get them out of the little bin and it has a number and then you go weigh them and you put the number in and then it gives you the price. It gives you a little sticker so you can scan it at the register. So we are in the chip aisle and they have these, they're like kettle style chips, which we have in the States. Then there's off-brand Pringles, regular Pringles, all similar. Smith's is like the main brand of chips here. Yeah, so Smith's is, I guess, like Lay's at home. But like, this, the packets are really small. I don't know if you can... And the colors are different as well. Like salt and vinegar here is like almost always going to be pink. So this is like their normal size. I would say you could buy that at a, like a gas station for like two bucks. So they're quite small. And then Grace has picked these out. They're called jumpies. Mm. These are like the little kid packets ones, but they're, they're chips, like potato chips, but they're shaped like little kangaroos or wallabies or something. Yes, look. Chicken flavored. They're chicken flavored. That's also another thing. Chicken flavored stuff. We don't have those at home. Yep. Chicken. So all this craziness that kind of looks like a uh, cleaner of some sort, it is actually like Kool-Aid in a way. You basically just put it in water and you mix it up. It's called cordial. So we're sitting here and we're going to watch Friday the 13th Part 3. And... Grace is editing the video. Yay, for more editing. <laughs> oh, and I'm eating food, some type of Asian stuff. This is from um, Noodle City, which is like a noodle box place. It's pretty common over here. I don't know, if you said last night you didn't think there was anything kind of like it. Like there's food like it, but not like the restaurant thing. Yeah, they like get all this fresh stuff and then they cook it in like the wok right by, like right there, like you watch them. And then they have these things called prawn chips, where, which, they were kind of like pork rinds a little bit. Do you know what pork yeah, rinds are? Yeah, kind of. That's a good way to describe it. Yeah, so they looked like styrofoam and they were pink and they tasted like shrimp. Kind of. A little bit. Uh, I have just like a pull apart thing. Pull apart thing. thing. It's custard and apple or something. Mm. Yum. Yes, so that's what we're doing today. And then I have work later on. Feeling a bit better now that I started my antibiotics. Yes. And then we're going to some American restaurant. Yeah, Dusty's. Dusty's. It's good. I like it there. So. We'll see you probably then. Yes. Bye. Okay.
Okay, so we are at Dusty's and I have the Coors Light, so that's like at home. It's not Bud Light, but it's, it's good enough. And then I have a cheese slider, is what they call it, as cheese and barbecue sauce, which is pretty good, and french fries. And I just have lemonade because I'm driving, and then I got the wings just in mild and some fries. Yum yum. So, we'll see you later. Yes. Alrighty, so we just got back from Dusty's and it was really good. It only like opened a couple of months ago or something, but it's been like booked out every Saturday night from what I've heard, so, and I liked it. What do you think? It was really good. I liked it. Um, everything on there was pretty American. I was trying to think of like what I would do if I had my own like American place and pretty much I would do the same thing. like. All I could think of was like the same exact stuff that they had. So they had like wings and like hot dogs and burgers and like steak. Ribs. They and had ribs too. Yeah. Um, and then like the, they had a couple American beers. They had Sam Adams, which I don't really like, but they had it. So that was kind of cool. That's pretty American. Um, they had Budweiser, Coors, Blue Moon. Um, and then they had that drink that was like the... Um Bundaberg rum, so it was like a real Australian rum, and then Dr. Pepper, so that would be interesting to yeah, see that, what it was like. That's really cool that they had like a Dr. Pepper drink, because it's, it's hard to get it here, and the places you do get it, it's like over $2 a can, which is really expensive, like a, just a normal soda can that you could buy for literally 50 cents, so. And it's Dr. Pepper. Yes, Dr. Pepper's my favorite drink, yeah. so it's a little strange, but... Oh well. Anyway, and I think we're just going to call it a night, probably watch another movie, and then off to bed. So, see you tomorrow. Bye.